Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. I have some envelopes that I need to fix up and repair with my words and you know you'll just see. But I had to get those done so I figured I would make this a video just so you guys can join me. I know there's quite a bit of you that like to watch my DIY videos so this is just another one fixing up some of my envelopes. So thank you for being here. Thanks for clicking on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are going to be fixing up some envelopes. Um, before we do that, let's grab the prompt card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt card. It's a conversation starter. I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video, and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. So today's prompt card is... Let's see this one. What's something you believe everyone should do at least once? <laughs> I would say a cruise at least once. I'm not a big cruise person. Like we went on one cruise and it was great. I loved it. Um, it might've been a little too long cause we did like the seven or eight day cruise. And, um, I think by day five or six, we were like just ready to get home. But, um, what about you guys? What's something you believe everyone should at least do once in their lifetime? All right, so today we are going to be hitting up some of my envelopes that need to have the stickers taken off and replaced with my own wording. Those words are gonna be vacation, wifey, hubby, date night, and vet bill. And as you can see, vet bill has the space because I remembered that I had that there. So hopefully this fits right, we'll see. But let's go ahead and grab out those envelopes. First one is going to be in here. I think I put it all the way at the back just to kind of get it out of the way. And I did. So vet bill. And let's see what's in here. Didn't we have one in here? Aha, date night. Just this one. And then in here we have hubby, wifey, I think that's it. And then last one, we have vacation. I think that is it. Yeah, we're not doing that one. So these are the five envelopes we're gonna be doing today. Um, if you're new to my DIYs, what I like to do is I take an image, which I've already done with all of these. Um, I just didn't do the words. This was before I realized I could do my own words. So these are all stickers, so I'll have to take the stickers off. And then I will replace it with my own words. Hopefully this fits. Yeah, I can work with that. So I'll position it where I want it inside here. I'll tape it to the cardstock that I have in here. They do touch a little bit, so I might shorten up the T, maybe, or put it up higher. I don't know. I'll play around with it, but I will be putting my own words on here just to match all the fonts of my other envelopes. So I'll be doing that with vacation and wifey and hubby, and chances are I will probably also need to fix some of this because this is all sticker right here so when I pull this up all that's going to be just clear so I'll probably have to fill it in once I put these on but yeah I do have five envelopes that I'm going to be working on today and since they're just words mostly I wanted to go ahead and get a lot of them done in one video so that's what we're going to do um, after I'm done with them though, what I'm going to do is what I've been doing. I'm going to actually cut this plastic right off. And the reason for that is, is because one, these envelopes are about a year old and they have been transferring. They have been 
transferring onto each other for quite some time and the backs look horrible but I can't seem to figure out how to make these not do this even with the acrylic spray and everything it's just it'll get sticky and this continues to happen and it just looks really really bad so I really just want some new envelopes so I do have some new envelopes and what I'll do is I'll just cut the plastic all the way here this whole rectangle I'll cut that off and I'll stick it inside of a brand new envelope I'll show you an example I've already done it with these this is self-care this is my brand new envelope and inside I've already cut the plastic off of the old envelope and stuck it inside here and as you can hear it it's still is sticking so I mean that's a good thing that means it's not going to move and it'll stay in here but you can't really even tell that it's an envelope inside of an envelope so that's what I'm going to be doing with these once I have the words put on here so you'll see that in this video as well and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy watching and we're gonna get these done here is my checklist. So I have date night, vacation, hubby, wifey, and vet bill. I didn't do anniversary yet. And then all of my kids, I'm not sure I'm going to do grad party because I accidentally already cut that envelope off and I might just leave it. It's going to be a temporary envelope anyway, you know, for the next couple of years and then it's done. But it looks fine, I think. And I'm still not sure about my kids. I may leave them with stickers as well because it's their drawings and I don't want to mess them up. And I'm a little worried about that, but we'll see. But for now, we're going to work on these five. So the rest of this video will be time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy watching and I'll try and make it as entertaining as I can. I'll stick some good music on. And uh, we'll get this job done. Thank you for being here with me. Let's go.
I didn't have to fix as much as I thought that I would, which is nice. So it was very easy to fix the little pieces where the stickers used to be, and I feel like you can't really even tell that that was a thing. But yeah, I think it turned out well. It was pretty simple, again, just doing words. So that's why I did five, because these will just fly right on through. Um, and, you know, it not being very time consuming. So we've got them all done. I haven't poked out these yet. So let me do that really quick. And then we will put these back in the binders. All right, so that is done. And now we're just gonna put these back in the binders, see how they look and call it a day. Starting with short term, I think, what did we have in here? It's right here, I know. Day night? Yeah, it was day night. So now all the envelopes are officially done. No more sticky, no more transferring on the back because now they are inside of another envelope. I love it. I can see where it's kind of like sticking to the inside of the envelope, but at least it's not this one. Can you see that? I don't know if that shows up on camera. I don't really care. It is definitely helping keep my envelopes from messing up. So I'm very happy with that. Next, long term, which I think, I think vacation was the only one in here. Nice, nice. It's thick, but we're about to do a cash condensing, so I'm not worried. Um, yeah, we're done with this one too. This is just a temporary envelope, so. I also made sure to put this barrier in between this and the envelope itself. Wait, why does that have... Oh, okay, it's temporary. I was like, why does it have marking on the back already? Um... That way, these doesn't transfer to the back like that. So, I have a barrier in between my budget sheets because these like to transfer too. We are just going to put an end to that. All right. So, and then I, with um, with Christmas, I put the I think it was Christmas. I put this challenge thing in the back with the budget tracker because I didn't want this rubbing up against another envelope. But since it's in the front, I put this barrier here and it just keeps it from rubbing up against that. So it's, I don't know, it works. Which I guess I could do that for Christmas. But anyway, let's keep going. I feel like I'm in a rambling mood right now. Okay, so holidays. And then we have Wifey and hubby. Perfect. So now officially all of my holidays envelopes are done. And as you can see, I put the tracker in the back here. But it keeps my envelopes from messing up, so can't complain about that. And last but not least, reserves. I think I'm going to put Vetville right here at the end um, because it's just very low priority in my mind and I already moved the tracker to the end so I'm going to keep it that way. I did put it in the back just to keep it from transferring because there was stuff on the back and stuff to keep it from transferring to my new envelopes but I kind of like it where it's at so now we've got all of my reserves done. No sticky. Look at that, guys. Celebrate. All right, so what do we have left? We have anniversary, which is right here. 
So we have to take these stickers off, put our own words on. Then we have basically all of my kids. So the thing is, I got a little carried away and I went ahead and put the grad party in the new envelope here. And so I already cut it. I don't know. I mean, maybe I can tape it down on the paper itself that says grad party. Maybe. Um, and the thing is, I don't know. I don't really know if I should do my kids' envelopes because, one, their graduation is just temporary. Once I get this done um, very soon, I hope, uh, this, is, this is gone. You know, so I don't know if I want to put in the effort for a temporary envelope. Um, but I could do their savings. But then again, look at the back of this because this one used to be pressed up against... Uh, my son's car envelope which had a lot of yellow so it just kind of took completely rubbed off on that and I don't like that <sighs> what should I do guys suggestions should I just do them do them for the content do it for the time and then I do have the savings for them and I have their cars and their um birthdays. So what do you think guys? Should I just do them? I should just do them and get them over with. Next video. Maybe next video we can just do, we can do one binder and then the other binder. I think this one's going to be the hardest one. All right, so you guys, let me know what to do. I'm rambling. But that's it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our prep for May in my budget book. So we're going to be putting stickers up on there and getting everything nice and ready for the month of May. I hope you guys join me on that. It's probably one of my favorite videos to make. So... I will see you guys tomorrow. And if you didn't see my April wrap up schedule, we had this DIY today. We have the prep for May tomorrow, the WTF Wednesday on Wednesday, cash stuffing on Friday. And then on Saturday, we have a cash condensing slash sinking funds update. So I hope you guys join me this week. It's going to be one of those weeks where we wrap up the month and I'm looking forward to doing this with you guys. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good night and as always, until next time. Bye.